Oh, Vanessa, is that your ring? Yes, it is. The stone's missing. <laughs> It's right there. Oh, it's nice. Oh, wow. Huh. Huh. Nice. It's understated. Tasteful. Delicate. <laughs> Kelvin, block this exit. Hi, everybody. Don't be nice to them. Now, Sandra, I can see that you're upset. I know that we took the babies. And for that, I do apologize. So do I. I'm very sorry. But we had the best of intentions. And to tell you the truth, the children had a great time with us. Uh, see, we have pictures. Took my babies to the beauty parlor? Yeah, they were a big hit. You took my babies out of my house so that they wouldn't get my germs, and then you took them into a public place where dozens of people were breathing on them? Sandra. I am talking. <laughs> These are my children. I gave birth to them. Do you have any idea how hard it is to give birth to two babies at once? <laughs> Pretty darn hard, I will tell you that. Now, if either of you ever tries this again, the next time you see these children will be at their college graduation. Whoa. Now, Elvin, get upstairs and get our babies. Keep me covered. Nobody moves until I'm out of here. And if anyone tries to follow us, they're going to get it. Anyway, you'll see when you meet it. Look, why don't you guys make yourselves at home, and we'll be out in a minute, okay? Honey, I'm back. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry I'm a little late. Time just flew by. Did it? Yeah, we were just sitting, talking over old times and stuff, and Iris' sister, Judy, is really fascinating. You know she's an engineer. She builds bridges. Anyway, we were just talking, and uh, Iris and Judy ordered some wine. You were drinking wine? Oh, no, you know I don't drink wine. I had a scotch. <laughs> You had a scotch? Yeah, it seemed like the thing to do. I'd never had one before. But I told him to put a lot of ice in it. Oh, and I suppose you smoked a cigarette, too. No. I just lit it and let it sit in the ashtray. I see. So now it's clear why you totally forgot to come home when you promised. Wait, Muffin, when I called you from the restaurant, you said stay and enjoy yourselves. Oh, well, you stayed all right. Yeah, honey, I stayed another half an hour. Then we got the check, I paid, and we left. You paid the check? I wanted to. See, once in college, Iris paid my way into a dance that we went to. Elvin, how much was the dance? Uh, a dollar. <laughs> and how much was the dinner? Um, $78. Law school, honey, this is gonna work out. Mom? Yes? I'm not going to law school. <laughs> what? I decided not to go to law school. What do you mean, you decided not to go to law school? this is our dream and so I'm going to get a temporary job until the wilderness store opens and then I'll be working side by side with my husband Sandra what are you saying you have always wanted to go to law school you've never talked about anything else I changed my mind change it back <laughs> after all the money we spent sending you to Princeton Sandra you owe us seventy nine thousand six hundred forty eight thousand twenty two cents and I want my money now is Sandra ready? Well, uh, not yet, but she'll be down in a little while. Would you and Dr. Huxtable like some coffee? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. You mean you're gonna get it? <laughs> yes. You're surprised? I'm sorry, Mrs. Huxtable. I didn't think you did that kind of thing. What kind of thing? You know, serve. Serve whom? S serve him. <laughs> oh, serve him! As in serve your man? Well, yeah. Let me tell you something, Elvis. <laughs> You see, I am not serving Dr. Huxtable, okay? Okay. That's the kind of thing that goes on in a restaurant. Now, I'm going to bring him a cup of coffee, just like he brought me a cup of coffee this morning. And that young man is what marriage is made of. It is give and take 50-50. And if you don't get it together and drop these macho attitudes, you are never going to have anybody bringing you anything, anywhere, anyplace, anytime, ever. <laughs> What would you like in your coffee? Maybe I could get you some coffee. 